innocent people do not go to jail. That was a lie. After hours of uh, sitting in the police department, uh, I was told that I was going to die in jail. Uh, I was never going home. Uh, and I was scared for my life. And I was screaming out that I'm innocent uh, and no one heard me. I was coerced and tricked into signing a confession, which ultimately led to me being convicted and spending 15 and a half years in prison. The pressure that you are put under, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. I started my, my quest of reaching out to uh, different innocence projects to help. I received a letter from Northwestern, from Steve Drizzen, Josh Tepfer. I've been waiting 15 years for somebody to take a look at my case. And Steven said, oh yeah, we've looked at it. And it's clear. <laughs> You're innocent. Before we did anything with court, before anything else, I knew I was going to be okay. Before the judge even read his decision, I had already knew he was going to drop this case. I was sitting next to my attorney and I grabbed him and he grabbed me. And myself, my co-defendants that were sitting next to me, we just started crying. Only did we know that was just the first step, but that was a big hurdle for us to get through. I mean, I'm just forever thankful for, for everything that they do. For me, I can't get my 15 back, but if I can stop someone else from doing 15 wrongfully, that's my 15 years back. And I'm fine with that.